What's up, my fellow legendaries? This is Rain Quaza here, or your host, or previous host, of the uh, Spartan Sawaddles, facing off against Danaki, and who is the host of the St. Louis Sableye. Um, I've got a little bit of, uh, you could say, like, janitorial work to go through before this battle starts, sort of upkeep to keep in mind. Um, uh, I'm here joined with Rylex. Um, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello everyone, this is Rylex Strike Sapphire, and should I like plug everything that I have here? Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my so my YouTube channel is is, is Rylex Sapphire. He'll he'll probably put it in the description. Yes. Um, and I will be taking I'll be taking over um Rain Quaza's team. Yes. Yeah, so from now for on, the, for the for you know. yeah for the rest of the season he will have mine. Um, yeah. So pretty much. It's, I'm going to transfer my artwork and everything over to him, he's keeping the same name, same team, he's not going to redraft or anything, I don't even know if that's a thing you're allowed to do, and I'll be, I don't think so. I'll be updating the spreadsheet for this week, and then after that he'll keep up the spreadsheet. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, we actually have a spreadsheet, if you actually would like to view it, I might, <laughs> actually, I might link it in the description. It's pretty cool, it's got all the statistics of all the Pokemon and all that good stuff. So anyway, yeah, Rylex is going to be taking over for me after this week. Um, pretty much if you'd really like to know the reason, I don't enjoy playing in the CPL ne nearly as much as I like watching it. Don't get me wrong, I really like the people in the uh, CPL, but it's not as enjoyable of an experience. And if I'm not really enjoying something that I'm doing for my entertainment and for my enjoyment, if I'm not getting enjoyment out of it, I don't really see a reason to continue doing it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, no, but that, that makes sense. But yeah, so anyway, just jump in, might as well just jump into team preview. So, I'm bringing a, uh, an Assault Vest Drag LG, um, mostly offensive, um, a Life Orb Heliolisk, um, a Eviolite, fully defensive Pyloswine, a Scolipede with Protect and Focus Sash, um, Adamant Nature, I considered running Jollied Out Speed, uh, Espeon by the side, I can just protect anyway. Um, a Focus Sash, uh, Breloom, because I forgot to change it to Life Orb. Actually, I did change it to Life Orb, but then I forgot to save that team. So, I have two teams. One team that I meant to bring with a Life Orb Breloom, and the team I actually brought without a Life Orb Breloom. And then last but not least, we have an Empoleon. I probably should have brought a defensive Empoleon, but I decided to bring an offensive Empoleon so I could hit some of our, the bigger threats on his team. Um, most notably, if he switched his Megalobunny into it, thinking he could hit me with like a fighting move. I also had Grass Knot because he had a Gastrodon, which I thought for sure he would bring because of how weak my team is to Gastrodon, but he didn't bring it for some reason. So, um, without further ado, let's actually uh, start the match. Um, yeah, so I lead off with my Pylos one, because um, I'm gonna get up rocks and he doesn't have a spinner. And he leads off with his low bunny, not screwing around. Right off the bat, he goes for a fake out. Um, it does 9%. You need keep that in mind for later, because that is going to be the lowest roll he ever gets on fake out. Because he he, he gets all of the good rolls on fake out. But anyway, now he switches into Espeon, predicting my rocks. Good play on his part. Um, I didn't think he was going to make that play. I thought he was going to go right for a fighting move because how, of how threatening my Pylos one is to his entire team. Especially his, uh, Victini, which is his, essentially his win condition, so I found it really surprising that he made that play into Espeon, as opposed to, um, trying to kill, weaken or kill my win condition. But anyway, I go into Empoleon because I want to, I want to defog, and he's running HP, uh, ground for some odd reason, and it does a crap load of damage because I'm an offensive Empoleon. So I decided to sack Empoleon because Empoleon is not that useful against his entire team, really. Like, the only purpose would be to get rid of those rocks. So now I go into Scullopee and I go for Protect because I don't outspeed him unless I go for Protect. So I'm pretty much forced to make this play. And now I decide I'm going to go for Protect again to see if he has a move to hit me with. And he does. He has Flamethrower. So then I decide to stay in and hit him with a move because I know he's not going to go for Flamethrower again. That's essentially how Protect works in this game. You pretty much just hope. And then he does click Dragon Claw. I don't know 
Oh, he was predicting to switch into Drag Algae. Oh god. So he's running Dragon Cold to hit Drag Algae, which is smart, but I'm not going into Drag Algae, screw that, I'm gonna stay in and I'm gonna kill him. So he's in a situation. He can go into Megalopony. I can protect, but so he has to double into his uh, Sneasel. Now, um, the thing is with Sneasel is it has inner focus. Um, I click a Rock Slide. Actually, no, I protect again to see if he can hit me. See if he has priority. And since he doesn't have priority, I'm like, okay. I can kill this thing. So I go for a Rock Slide, and it does 99%. It doesn't, he says he's Focus Sashed. We never find out if he's Focus Sashed or not. I'll take his word for it and say he is Focus Sashed. But he did leave on 99% and it didn't activate the Focus Sash. So for some reason he wasn't running Focus Sash, I just gave up my win condition because I clicked Rock, didn't want to miss a Mega Mark. So now I go into a uh, Pilo Swan and I crit Earthquake and kill it. Now that doesn't actually matter because Earthquake plus Ice Shark clearly killed him. Now he goes into his uh, Victinian U-turns because he knows that any move he goes for won't kill me. I have to click Earthquake here because Victini is, again, his win condition. Um, now I go into uh, Cancer Fish, my Drag Algae. Um, he goes for a Flash Cannon, but I'm a Salt Vest Offensive, so pretty much I'm just in here to kill him. Wow, and he lives on 1% again. So, lucky man is lucky. So now I have to go into my uh, Heliolisk and take an unnecessary 28% in order to knock out for his Pokemon to die. Now he goes straight into his Megalobunny, goes for a fake out, good play, and then we find out if he has priority or not essentially, he does not have priority. He reveals he does not have priority here, he clicks return because he outspeeds. So now I go in the right, my uh, Breloom, because my Breloom is supposed to be Life Orb, Jolly Nature has a 99.8% chance to kill with uh, with a technician boosted muck punch. Um there is yeah, a 99.8% chance the range is between uh the damage is it does is between 99% and 120%. So it's a massive range. So there is a chance he would live here. But we know for a fact he's fully offensive because of his uh, his speed. So I click muck punch here and it does 82%. So here I was like, the hell just happened? That was supposed to one-shot him. This was my game free. If this killed, he would go into his Victini, and I'd do a whopping like 30% with Mock Punch, and then Pilo Swine lives any hit. Pilo Swine EQs, if he goes for a U-turn into his Sneasel, I EQ, kill the Sneasel, and then he goes back into Victini, clicks V create, and then I EQ him again, and he loses. That's what should have happened. What actually happens is he hits me with return and he lives. And now I know he's going into, I really feel like he's going to go into Victini here, but I can't risk it because here's the play. If I click Spore there and he clicks return, he wins. No questions asked. So I'm forced to go for Mock Punch here essentially. If he make the proper play, what um what most people would do, the play that like 90% of uh, players would make would have been going into a Sneasel there to sack him, because it doesn't have priority. So that was the play that, if he made that play, he just won regardless, because of me screwing up my uh, Rulu. Alright, oh yeah, this is where he like talks shit in the uh, battle. Anyway, um, into his, he goes back into his Mega Loop Bunny, of course. I should have gone into Drag Algae here to take the fake out. Um, I thought, yeah, I really just should have gone to Drag Algae. This is me just making a shitty play. Well, there's nothing else to say about it. He goes for a fake out at those jacks. It get he gets the max damage roll on that fake out, as opposed to the other one. So that did two percent more, and that that actually matters. Like you'll see in a minute. So he goes into his Sneasel and attacks it off now. So, all right. I mean, whatever. Now he goes into Victini, which we all know that Victini's V-Create isn't going to kill a Pilo Swine because it's a thick fat, max HP, max defense, it does 30, it does 34%. Alright, so I go for Earthquake and kill him. So now it comes down to, I am at 11%. I don't live rocks coming in. I cannot come in to rocks. 
So, the only play I can make is hope he doesn't get a max damage roll with his fake out. And he gets a max damage roll with his fake out and knocks me out. So, this game. <laughs> this fucking game, dude. Anyway, um, so this battle essentially consisted of. If I'm going to uh, recap the game in general, is me making a bad prediction and going for Stealth Rocks. Him getting uh, two max rolls and a normal roll with Fake Out. And me accidentally loading the wrong team for the battle. <laughs> so, anyway, um, yep, uh, great game to uh, Daniki of the uh, St. Louis Sable Eyes again. Um, well played by him. He is now a uh, 3-1 in the league, and I am 2-1 because I haven't played... I, well, not me anymore. Rylix needs to play a game with uh, Aurobom at some point, which is a game I'm really looking forward to. Um, Rylix Whoa. is a really good... Rylix is a really good battler, and uh, Aurobom is probably, hands down, the best in the league, clearly. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's gonna be a pretty good game. Uh, my, at least my draft, my draft has a pretty good matchup against him. I even made, I've already made the team I'm planning, that was planned on using for Aurobom. It's been made for like three weeks. So yeah, um, Rylix, do you have anything else you want to say? Um, anyway, make sure you go subscribe to Rylix, because he's going to be uploading the rest of the battles at CPL. Um, I'll probably put him in a playlist on my channel for the first, like, week or so, so that you got if you guys forget, you'll find the first one or two battles on my channel in that playlist, and then you'll can go subscribe to Rylix through that battle. But yeah, and then after that, then all the rest of the games will just be on his channel. So yeah, yeah. um, go ahead. Say whatever you would think um, you have, if you have anything. Well, I guess this is goodbye <laughs> for, 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 until you come to my channel. Thank you, Rayquaza, for, for giving me out of everyone you could be given the team to. That's yeah, um, no yeah, I guess I'll see you all another time, another day. Yep, so until next time um, on Rylex's channel, of course, um, this is Rayquaza and Rylex signing out. Peace, YouTube. <laughs>